everybody, this is Matt with Grand Ventures, and today I'm at an interesting location in Seattle, Washington. It's a toy store slash curio shop called Archie McPhee, and you can see this dapper pigeon behind me. It's got a little name tag. So, hope you join us on this adventure. This is the outside. You got this interesting dapper pigeon. Additionally, we got a crow. She kind of looks like she's almost dressed like Alice in Wonderland. So we got a unicorn and we got a squirrel and he's wearing little squirrel underpants. Looks like we got a spaceship on the outside here. If you take a look, here's a piece of bacon. And Mr. Bacon, he loves Archie McPhee. Walking around to the front here, we got the one, the only, good old Sasquatch. And from the looks of it, they're celebrating 39 years. Up here in the window, they got a little Easter looking diorama. And they have over 10,000 items. Their claim to fame is also that we make weird. Another selling point is they have a free rubber chicken museum. Additionally, they got the Wallingford Beast. And they got this interesting alien. And I wonder if that's Mr. McPhee himself. And walking inside, they got a big rubber chicken on the ceiling. Here in the corner, looks like a Fiji mermaid. Made out of two skeletons. And security here is pretty vigilant. This guy's keeping watch. Got a creepy scarecrow up here. That would scare not only crows, but anybody else away. Not sure if that's a top hit, but they have an album called Come Join the Meat Parade. Meat March, Slab of Meat, $8.95. Now in case anybody's in the market, they have a giant latex cockroach. I think it's pretty weird. And if that's not enough, they also have a giant lobster. Looks like they have various bins full of interesting stuff. Here's a thing of tiny little hands. Fifty cents each. It says there's over ten thousand items. They got just a wall full of all sorts of random, interesting merchandise. They're also known for their impressive collection of strange masks. Take a look here. Hope that's not Bambi's mom. For the sea line aficionado. Got that little pug up there. Now I don't have any hair, but if I was seeking some, I'd come here. Got a collection of wigs. There's Troy, Janeth, Alice, Opal, Della, and Louise. Or Lois. They have a section called Glowland. We got a bunch of glow in the dark items. And a glowing rubber chicken for the mere price of $10.95. That can be yours. Now we've talked about getting one of these because we have a bunch of squirrels at our house, but look at this, the horse head squirrel feeder. I guess you fill that up with food, put it out on your property, and your squirrels can dine. Now our dogs are not fans of squirrels, and so I don't know that I want to attract any more, but that's pretty cool. Not quite Christmas time, but they got some interesting ornaments. Got a pug, Bigfoot. They got this. Pigeon riding an ostrich. Of course, you got to have a Yeti in there. And last but not least, the Lederhosen unicorn. Also in this Christmas section, got some interesting candy canes. They got sardine candy canes and even hot dog candy canes. No, thank you. Oh, and some baking candy canes. I guess these don't have any saturated fat, which is nice. 
sometimes I think to myself, who would have such a collection like this or who would inspire it anyways? Could it be, say, 10? Now something you've all been waiting for, and I promised, the Rubber Chicken Museum. Now you can't get too close, it's all stanchioned off here. But they have various interesting pieces. They got a signed rubber chicken there. Got a rubber chicken press penny. They got a J.P. Patches figure, which is an old TV show. Look at this guy. He's seen better days. An additional famous rubber chickens. These also have little plaques and stuff saying where they're from and what they are. Um, not quite sure when the rubber chicken became a thing or when they were first maybe made. If anybody knows, you can leave a comment down below. I like the Santa chicken though. We got some rubber chicken stained glass. And look, they name it Jeff. And they have a bunch of cool signed pictures here. I am a fan of Almost Live if you're from the Seattle area. That's a show you know. And uh, John Keister, he signed this that I owe it all to Archie. Oh, looks like the entire cast has a picture that signed. Some other notables. Got Alex Trebek, Billy Crystal. Oh, and it looks like for your mystery science fans, which I am, it's also can't quite read it out, but it looks like there's a signed picture of all the cast there with Mike at the helm. And it looks like they got a huge, looks like one of those lizards that runs on water, the Jesus lizard. And here they have an attraction without a parallel, the amazing Archie McPhee Glow Chamber. It's only five cents. Ready for madness to ensue. Whoa. Now one thing you should not aspire to is being able to wear these. It says the world's largest underpants. Those are pretty big. If you look here, they have Captain Archie Fortune Teller. It's like the Gorton's Fisherman. Let's see what he says. Captain Archie here. When you step outside the store, if the wind is just right, you should be able to smell the Ballard locks. If the wind is wrong, all you'll be able to smell is Lutefisk. Oh, there you go. And he gave us a fortune teller card. Tomorrow seems the busiest day of the week for you. That's my day off tomorrow, so hopefully not. Now I'm a huge fan of Fiji mermaids, and one in particular I really like is Jake the Alligator Boy out at Long Beach, Washington at Marsh's Museum. They have their own here at Archie McPhee. Let's take a look. Look at this guy. The Wallingford Beast. Now this isn't quite a Fiji mermaid, but it's got a head. Almost looks like that big cockroach. But they give them really nice velvet digs here. Very creepy and cool looking. They even got a... I saw the Wallingford Beast at Archie McPhee's. I'm going to have to get that. Also over by the Wallingford Beast, they have this western jackalope. Not an actual jackalope, just his horn. And they have a fur-bearing trout, very rare. On this back wall, they have a whole bunch of interesting oddities and kooky stuff. I used to love this stuff as a kid. They have different stuff at the dollar, dollar store, kind of prank stuff. Got some spider soap. Got a booger nose. They got a pin through a finger prank. Ouch. They have a mustache comb, so if you have got an unkept mustache, that's what you need. Oh, this one's got a little bit of everything. This is the little devil's trick of the day. 
They got some trick gum, the whoopee cushion, a buzzer. They got it all. So that's a little bit of a grab bag there. And they also have some cool figurines. They got a Rosie the Riveter, the crazy cat lady, Jane Austen, and of course they got Bigfoot in the corner here. And if you're not a very good cook, you can actually get your own inflatable turkey. And they do have a lot of bacon merchandise. They got this cool bacon magnet, bacon balm, bacon bandages. They even have, now I know it's not Christmas time, but if there's a loved one in your life and you need to give them a cool gift, they have Mr. Bacon's Big Adventure. This display caught my eye. It's got like Dracula's castle up there and a bunch of interesting monster memorabilia. Got a spooky Frankenstein bandana. Some neat looking stuff. Oh, they even got a cool card game. Epitaph ideas. It's a little dark. So they have Motog Speaks. It's a little, looks like Easter Island head. And you can ask them a question and put a quarter there. So, Motog, here's your question. Will we become rich and famous? Oh. Well, Motog spoke. I will be rich and famous. At least I'm handsome if I don't get any of that. And some people have different claim to fame. Take a look. I saw the world's largest rubber chicken here at Archie McPhee's. Got to be famous for something. And up front, they got kind of like a almost looks like Bourbon Street in New Orleans. They got a bunch of critters out here celebrating. Looks like Mardi Gras or Fat Tuesday. Oh, they got a little sign that says Cat Tuesday. I spoke too soon. And they got the Pig Easy. That's kind of neat looking. And then they also have, they got a surprise grab bag of various items. And then they got a smaller version too, the Lucky Takeout. I think I'm going to get one of these and I'll show you what's inside. This looks like a good one. Well, that was Archie McPhee. What an interesting location. And I did have to get some merch to support the store. As you can see, got a cool bag here. Let me show you what I got. Now, first, they said if you spend over $15, you get this cool We Make Weird Archie McPhee sticker. Additionally, I got a I Saw the Wallingford Beast bumper sticker. Got a set of interesting postcards a whole pack of them archie mcphee and potential patreon members you may be getting one of these and i got the ten dollar looks like chinese takeout grab bag i'm gonna show you some of the items inside now it said your mileage may vary not one of these are alike and supposedly they're filled with different merchandise and items so i'll show you first item it looks like maybe that's a some jackie kennedy coasters or something. I might have to dig into that more. Kind of interesting. Got a lot of little goofy items. The kiddos will like this. Got a little like Sprite. A finger monster. I always needed one of these. Some tiny hand bandages. And I don't know if the bandage is for his tiny hand or if there's a tiny hand on top of it. And there's a free prize inside. Another goofy monster. Oh, they got a strange pin. And this looks like dancing ape of sorts. And they got some grump soap. It says here, cleanliness is next to grumpiness. I can be grumpy now and then, so I guess this is up my alley. Although you think if you're super grumpy, you're probably not washing either, so. So maybe I'm not super grumpy. They got some cat mints. Now, Everly's gonna like these, my five-year-old. They got my pumpkin head guy as well as, looks like a Dracula. And some pillow thing, and a mini hamburger. So you get all those interesting kind of grab bag items in that, which is nice. They had a larger bag that was $30. That may be a little more than uh, I wanted to spend and or have all that extra stuff laying around. 
But this place was really fun. If you're down in Wallingford in Seattle, this is definitely a location to check out. I really enjoyed the Wallingford Beast, which is reminiscent of a Fiji mermaid. And it's just a fun vibe. I talked with the owner a little bit, super helpful in helping me locate some items. Very nice there, very cool, chill atmosphere. And yeah, just a lot of neat stuff to see. So if you're down here in Wallingford, definitely check it out. We really enjoy making these travel and location videos. It's a lot of fun. We like taking you along with us. If you do like these videos, give us a big thumbs up. That definitely helps our channel. Also, if you're not a subscriber, please do, and make sure and smash that bell. That way you can join us on our next adventure. Additionally, we have a Patreon, $5 a month. will get you a personalized postcard from a location. And just think, you could end up getting one of these. Maybe Bigfoot, maybe this giant squid. Thanks for joining us, and we hope to see you on our next adventure. And a good rule in life, less talk, more monkey.